Hello and welcome back. We are starting a new topic. And so let me give you an introduction to BJT's bipolar junction transistor. The first thing to keep in mind is that transistors are three terminal devices. Three terminal devices. In the case of a BJT, we have a base terminal, an emitter terminal, and a collector terminal. Now we call the BJT a bipolar, bipolar, by as a prefix meaning two, two polarities. And what do we mean by two polarities? It has to do, and you're going to see when we go over the operation and the mechanisms of the BJT, that it utilizes two charge carriers for its operation. You're going to have three electrons, electrons in the conduction band, as well as hole, meaning holes, electrons in the balance band to make this device work. Like all transistors, the principle of, of, the principle of operation, in essence, is that the voltage between two terminals, in this case, the voltage between the base and the emitter terminal, is going to control the flow of current in the third terminal, meaning it's going to control this flow of current. So, in effectively, what we are doing is we have a voltage control current source. If you bias the transistor right, if you have enough base emitter voltage, you have current flow through the other terminals. Now, that means, and this is very important, that we are able to create a control source, a control current source with a single device. And making a control source is the basis for amplification. Because if we are able to have a small voltage here control a current, you put a resistor and current times resistance is going to give you a voltage there. So we are going to see applications where and this single device, with just one transistor, we are able to amplify signals. Now, it has other uses, of course. It is excellent for amplification. And again, it's a device that by itself is able to amplify signals. You can also use it in switching applications. You are able to create logical applications as well as any, any case where you need to create a switch. And that's because, again, this voltage... If it is sufficiently low, current is not going to flow, so you have no current. If it is sufficiently high, current is going to flow, so you are able to do the on and off switching operation without mechanical parts. It's an electronic switch. Once you have a switch, you are typically able to implement logic functions, etc. Now, real application areas of BJTs. Nowadays, the BJT is still very popular in discrete design. So anytime that you are doing on a printed circuit board, an analog or mixed signal circuit, uh, using discrete resistors, capacitors, um, op-amps, other ICs, transistors, and BJTs are heavily used. And in IC design, there are some applications where the BJT is the semiconductor device of choice. Very high frequency applications, very high speed. Of course, you can combine it with MOSFETs as part of the same uh, silicon, uh, monolithic, um, to create bi CMOS circuit. So, let's start thinking about a model for this device and do a sample application just as a coming attraction as to, so you get a sense of how this works, but then in order to understand it at a deeper level, I'm going to go over the structure, operation, course, etc. So, a simple model here. The simplest model when you're doing DC circuit analysis uh, or C design with a transistor, with the stability, is that if the voltage between the base and the emitter is sufficiently high, by that meaning 0 0.6 to 0 
if you have that junction forward bias, the base emitter junction, then you have current at the collector, and that current is approximately equal to the emitter current. So if you do not have sufficient voltage between the base and the emitter, or if you put that like zero volts, you get no current. It's like an open switch. If you have um, 0 0.6, like a forward bias diode, you get current flowing between the other two terminals. So let's use this simple model to do our first application, which is a very important application. We are going to try to design a one milliamps current source. So let's go with that. 